I was a rather troubled uh, high school senior at the time, about 16 years old, and I spotted this book that looked rather risque uh, called The Treasure of Pleasant Valley. On the cover was a drawing of a woman who appeared to be wearing something that was basically see-through, but the symbolism was really great for me at that age of 16. <laughs> and then I realized if I read the book, two of my classmates, uh, girls, were volunteering in the library, and if they saw me taking out a book, they'd tell the boys, and then my reputation would be down because I was reading books, and I wanted them to know that all I could do is fight and cuss. <laughs> and so finally it come to me, just steal a book. And so when I finished the book in about uh, oh, a week or two, I brought it back. Right. And when I put it back, that was another book by Frank Irby. So I thought maybe I'll read that too. So I took it under my jacket and later I brought it back. And that was a <laughs> God, that was another <laughs> book by Frank Irby. So I, I took it. And I think that semester I read four books by Frank Irby. And uh Several years, 13 to be exact, we were at a gathering at my high school uh, for my class reunion, and the teacher who had been the librarian, Mrs. Mildred Grady, was there. She told me that she saw me take that book when I first took it. She said, the first thought was to go over and tell him, boy, you don't have to steal a book. You can check them out. They're free. Then she realized what my situation was, and I could not let anybody know I was reading, so she said that she decided that if a old boy would read a book, she and Mrs. Saunders would drive to Memphis and find another one for me to read, and they would put it in the exact same place where the one I had taken was. And every time I took one out, they headed to Memphis to find another one. Now, you got to understand that this was not an easy matter then because this is 1957 and 58, and black authors were not especially available, number one. And number two, Frank Yerby was not such a widely known author. And, uh, and number three, they had to drive all the way to Memphis to find it. And uh, I credit Mrs. Grady for getting me in the habit of enjoying reading so that uh, I was able to go to law school and survive. So That's that pretty I, cool. <laughs> yeah. 